His burning eye, the day to cheer, and night's date due today. Good morning, father. Young son, it argues a distempered head so soon to bid good morrow to the die bed. Or, if I hit it right, our Romeo hath not been in bed tonight. The last was true, was still with Rosaline. With Rosaline, no. I have forgot that name, and that name's woe. That's my good son, but where has the thou been then? I have been feasting with my enemy, within thy help and holy physic lies. I bear no hatred, lest man, likewise deeds my foe. Be plain, good son, then plainly know my heart's dear love is set on the fair daughter of rich Capulet. We met, we wooed, and made exchange of vow. But this I pray, that thou consent to marry us today. Holy Saint Francis! What a change is here! Come, go with me. In one respect, I'll thy assistant be. For this alliance may also happy prove. Turn your household's rancor to pure love. Oh, let us hence, I stand on sudden haste. Wisely and slow, they stumble, that run fast. Where should this Romeo be? Came he not home tonight? Not to his father's, I spoke with his man. Why, that same pale-hearted wench, that Rosaline torments him so, that he will sure run mad. Here comes Romeo, without his robe, like a dry human. You gave us counterfeit fairly last night. Good morrow to you both. What counterfeit did I give you? The slip, the slip, can you not conceive? Pardon, good Lucretio, my business was great. Come between us, Benvolio. <sighs> my wit faints. Was I with you there for the goose? Thou wast never with me for anything. When thou wast not there for the goose, I will bite thee by the ear for that jest. Nay, good goose, bite not. Thy wit is very bitter, sweet me. It is very sharp sauce.